Okay, let's talk really quick about torque wrenches. Um, I've never worked in a shop where they use torque wrenches, but I've heard that uh, it's a good idea no matter what shop you're in. So this is a 3 8 drive Tekton. I think I'm saying that right. Tekton. T-E-K-T-O-N. It is kind of the cheap one on Amazon, but it's also the best, I think, without spending huge amounts of money. Uh, because it's got like easy to read scales on it versus everything else, this is just stamped. It's like you can hardly read it and like you know that's definitely cheap. Anyways, like I said, I've never used one. I'm gonna set it to like 45, 45 foot pounds, put it on the vise just to see what that feels like because honestly, I have no idea. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I bought a 10 to 80 foot pound torque wrench because for side lock nuts on end mill holders, you need to be able to get down to about 10 for some smaller size end mills. Anyways, this is kind of cool that I had to find one with a shorter handle as well, so it actually misses the misses the weight cover, so that's kind of nice. But Sorry there's no lights in here, but it can go all the way around. And with the deep socket, I think it's pretty safe to say that it's not going to come flying off. But I the vice just shut all the way. So anyways, I'm going to see what this feels like. Oh yeah, 45 foot pounds is about, honestly, probably about what I use just by hand. Feels about the same. Anyways. So, a very important place uh, that you should definitely use a torque wrench is on retention knobs. Because I have actually seen in the past where people torque these down too far and after you use them for a while, you can see a bit of wear just about in this region where sort of the thread ends. Um, because once you tighten this up, it's actually going to pull some of this material or, or push it out, I should say. We definitely don't want that happening because it could damage the spindle and it's definitely not good for the tool holder and these things. These babies, the uh, Shunk Tendo E setup. These are $260 a piece, and I don't really feel like wrecking them. I've never worked with hydraulic tool holders before, but I've heard they're the bee's knees. So we're going to give them a try. Like I said, kind of spendy, $260 each. All of these come at 3 quarter inch diameter, and then you need to sleeve them down to whatever size end mill you have. So this is an eighth inch sleeve. It's pretty small, but it's got coolant ports. And you can get them without the coolant ports too. But um, yeah. So essentially what you're doing is once you get the sleeve in here, this is actually a, a plunger, that screw right there. Um, it's a plunger and there's hydraulic fluid inside of here. And when, you, when this plunger gets depressed, the fluid is forced to, or whatever, pressure builds up into this uh, sleeve here on the inside and uh, it actually collapses and then it pinches, well, it pinches the sleeve and the end mill that's in there. So these are pretty cool. Hydraulic fluid has the this ability or this sort of uniqueness to it where it uh, will absorb lots of vibration. So these are really good for, I'm going to say semi-roughing, super heavy roughing. I don't know if it's a good idea in here, although I've seen people do it, but um, as well as finishing. Uh, so this has some really crazy concentricity stats, so you're going to get longer tool life and better finishes, so that's super exciting. Um, we got a whole bunch of... Uh, ER32 and ER16 collar holders. These are pretty cool too. Uh, I'm gonna show you. So we bought this from Mari Tool because they definitely have the most cost effective setup as far as torque wrenches go. Um, but these are technically technique holders. Um, in the future, I don't know what we'll do. 
I really like this Mari tool thing that's going on, so we might try those in the future if we ever need more, which I'm sure we will. But anyways, this is a, I'm going to say a different style of torque wrench because it has a, this. No clue what that is uh, or how that is, but anyways, we're going with it. It's an adapter that fits the ER32 nut, so I think this only goes in one way. I haven't used this yet. This is a super high quality torque wrench compared to, you know, compared to this one, but they have different uses. Um, oh, I also printed this out. I'm pretty cool. Uh, I printed out and laminated all of the torque specs that I will need, or at least that I think I'll need. I laminated it. Uh, actually, I had my wife laminate it because I was a teacher. It's beside the point. So, ER32 collet holders are supposed to have a specific torque. Um, just for, God, what is it? sake of repeatability um, and you know the run out that you can get with an ER32 call it I think is minimized these are supposed to be to like a hundred foot pounds which is a lot like with just the hand wrench I almost guarantee I never get it to a hundred foot pounds but now that we have this uh, I'm excited to see how it affects the you know the performance of one of these holders so anyways I'm gonna put this on here just because I haven't put it on before I'm not gonna actually tighten it because there's no call it in there That's pretty cool. Doesn't ratchet back and forth, you know, like this one. Not an issue though. So anyways, that's what we've been up to. Uh, we had training for this on Monday. Uh, super awesome, the probe stuff, I can already tell, is gonna eliminate so much setup time. I was just quoting a part this morning thinking like, dude, with that probe, this will take like two minutes. Uh, so that's awesome. We have coolant in it. Went with an all synthetic uh, Simcool product. Like the air compressor's on and the heater just kicked on. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, that's kind of a quick update. So we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we keep you guys up to date on what's going on over here. This is super fun. In the other room over there, MTS Plant 1. Uh, tons of work going on which means we're kind of pulled away from this for a little while which is unfortunate but it's good to be busy in this you know, crazy covid world uh so yeah thanks for watching